Gather around, island lovers. It's Demi and Jasmine with your fire pit chat, your daily dose of all things Love Island. Hello, everybody. Happy Monday. Is this our last week? Full week? Yeah. Yeah. Is it actually? Last week, dude. Yeah. Oh, okay. Spirits are high then. I will try to give it a lot if this is our last week. Yeah, that's why I was like, do we just say see you at the finale? Because like, <laughs> yeah. what's going to happen? But a lot of people got to go home. Yeah, I was actually really surprised to see the families already. I didn't think that. Well, it's the last week, so I guess they had to. But I thought they would dump a few people before that. Because there's a lot of families to fly to Spain. That's what I'm saying. Like, what a budget. Right. Um, but anyway, let's recap the episode 47, 48. So Sunday were, were the grafties. The grafties. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Like, who needs the Twitter challenge when you have Joey Essex? Like, real talk. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. He just throws shit at the fan and sees what sticks. Like, Honestly. Like, he just doesn't care. Like, yeah. he's just doing it, I feel like, just to be like, just to start shit. And then it kind of, like, smirks and just is like, it's to be that unbothered is a skill it's a gift yeah (laughs) yeah um so we have lola and harry that were doms with the least favorite that was really savage savage and i was so here for it i'm like yeah like literally let's get them like let's not even play around with that they're like we're not bringing your families here dude no like literally i think they made them couple up and then they're like goodbye because like we're not flying your families to spain like no they and he sent was them so right awkward. Back. Yeah, he was just like he just like lost honestly, it. he seemed so miserable. I was like, we yeah. need to get him home. Like he does not want to be here anymore. I think he was so pissed that he knew he was going home. Yeah, I mean, I couldn't figure him out. I think that's what it was. But um, what do you expect when you come in week six? I know it's so tough. Is it week six that he came or seven? Yeah, I think it was actually week. six. Seven, right? Because I was shocked to even eight. see bombshells come. Right. Like you like you're lucky you got the airtime you did. No, for real. Like Th- just go home. Uh then we have Grace and Ruben. Ugh, do you like them? No. Oh yeah, you no. hate Ruben. <laughs> I forgot. Also, like I do not fuck with Josh. Uh oh, they might he must really bother people in that villa. Honestly, like I I don't think he's, like, a good guy. Like, I think he's, like, a cocky, arrogant asshole on the outside. And I said it. I said what I said. And I mean that. <laughs> I don't like, know what genuinely. I get. I don't How know do you go into a group of people this big and, like, make enemies so fast? Like, I, I genuinely, like, don't think people fuck with him. I think his ego is so easily frag. Like, it's so fragile with the Mimi thing. Like, he's yeah. so worried about looking dumb. And it turns me off. But it, then again, it's, like... He, he's like fighting with Joey and there's like no arguing with Joey because he'll just keep on gaslighting you and spinning you spinning the conversation. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's like honestly, there's no arguing with Joey. He's like, dude, you you you, you said secret mission. You outed it. Like, how do you not see that? you? He's like, but it was a chat. It's like you voiced that. No one said. Do you have did anybody have any secrets? Like you straight up outed it. (laughs) And then you wouldn't say anything to Josh. Like that was so weird to me. So it's like, I kind of get Josh's frustration. Um, no, do I like Josh? I don't like Josh. Uh, I I don't know. Do I like Josh? I don't know. I don't like him. I actually, but do I hate him? No. Yeah. Like hate is a strong word. Do you hate him? But like, I don't fuck with them. Do you Do know you what I mean? Ruben? Him and Ruben. No, I don't hate Ruben. <laughs> I just, like, he icks me out. They both have given me the ick. Ruben has such noodle arms, I can't. I just, like... Do not like Ruben's thing. I do not get Ruben's thing. Like telling <laughs> Grace that he couldn't eat. She couldn't eat. Like watching that again. I was like, that's so cringe. Oh my God. I'm so glad they showed that. First of all, <laughs> to watch, to wa- rewatch yourself having intimate conversations in front of the people in the everybody villa. someone like take a gun to my head that is honestly so brutal so brutal and like i just thought it was funny like grace was up for her biggest flirt and like the two clips of her i was like she's not flirting like <laughs> she's literally that's her like flirting g- she was being flirted too right and it's like no everyone just thinks grace is hot yeah exactly like i didn't find that she was like oh i'm your type like 
Uh, yeah. Anything she should have added the Josh comment in. Like they should have added in more things or or stuff. Mm-hmm. Right, like, yeah, why didn't they add in when she was talking about how her and Josh have a good thing going when he was, like, sticking it on Mimi? They, I guess they saved that for unfinished business. Like, no. Oh. Like, yeah. Um, yeah, so I don't know what, like, I think Grace and Ruben are Uzi and Katie. Yeah, they're, they're business partners. Yes. She, it's her business partner. That's why I just think, like, why did we see their families? Exactly. Like, these couples that are so, like, just, like, freshly made, they know the finals coming up. Like, we don't need, I don't need to see their families. Sorry. That's what I just we, don't. We, why did we not have babies first? I don't know. Usually, I think we have babies. Someone goes home. Like, and then I think it's couples. Like the f- final four five couples or even just the final four you used to get right. the family so yeah i was shocked by that who else like is a really weak couple like mimi and josh and but they're like exclusive now that's their whole thing oh my gosh but like that grossed me out too like josh is just seeming like he's trying to like mark his territory yeah that's yeah that that was all weird um I don't really get this, like, Sean being so vocal about them, too. Like, he will not give it a rest. It, like, seems like Sean has something against Mimi. Because or maybe it's like, like he hates Josh. Like, I don't... Maybe he does. Everyone, he, like, is annoyed by Josh. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's more like Josh because it's, like, it's always saying, like, Mimi has feelings for Io. Um, but, yeah, Sean's, like, really opinionated. And I was just, like... He's only opinionated about that, though. So it's exactly. weird. And it's it's not letting it go. And there's like, oh, I could think, oh, I think Mimi still has feelings for Josh. That's an opinion. But you, like, keep on saying it in front of everybody is, like, just so in disagreeing and, like, like beating a dead horse. That's what I'm just like, what is happening with Sean right now? And then they're like, oh, well, I think Joey's rubbing off on him. Yeah, I mean, they're, like, but buddies in there they're obsessed with each other it, so it, it makes sense right so like i think he's just doing that like yeah. he's just kind of following um like would joey, joey essex be friends with any of these guys in real life absolutely not like yeah. he's never talking to this cast again right cast <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so then we have the grafties which was really honestly thoroughly enjoyed it uh Watching Joey get the biggest flirt. Amazing. So he's like, surely not. And he's like sitting there. (laughs) It's wild. (laughs) It's like he sees it. And he's like, nah, didn't do it. Wasn't me. (laughs) No, she played footsie with me. Like, he's lucky they didn't show how many times he called Lola hot. Oh, my gosh. That would have been just mean at that point. Like, yeah. Honestly, they could have done every girl that he talked to. A hundred percent. They they probably had hours of footage. That's why we yeah. That's why we voted because we've seen it, right? It would, and when if you voted, it was like ninety eight percent Joey. Like, <laughs> um, and then I what was crazy was Nicole got obviously got most dramatic. Duh, that she was like a landslide, but she had like a little snapback with the uh. Everyone talks shit about everybody. Yeah, that that was surprising to me because it was like, it just came kind of came out of nowhere. I was like, being dramatic doesn't correlate with being like the biggest shit talker. I didn't really get that. Yeah. Like why that had to go hand in hand with each other. So like, I feel like she was being defensive. Like, well, we all talk shit. And it's like, yeah, but but no one's like calling you out for talking shit right now. So like, right. why are we bringing that up? It's so weird. And- it was, like, so weird. Like, tensions were so high and everyone was just kind of – and she's, like, why is everyone silent? I'm, like, what do you want them to say, Nicole? Like, oh, yeah, this one time I talk shit, too? Like, what do you mean? Like, and the only person who was talking shit mad in that movie thing was Jess, her best friend. Right. Exactly. So maybe she was talking about that. Uh, then today's episode – I think, what are we still dealing with the stupid secret mission in the whole yeah, 30 minutes? We, like, we couldn't stop talking about the secret mission. I'm so done with this secret mission. It's, like, beyond blown out of proportion. But I said this before on the pod, I think in my solo app, but, like, 
I don't really think, and this is where I think me and you disagree. I don't think it was up to Joey to tell Josh what the secret mission was like. And I get it because Joey outed the secret mission, but then it's like, okay, I'm bringing it to light. So you and Mimi can have a conversation. Uh. It's kind of like lighting the match and then walking away from the fire. <laughs> Literally, you like that meme of the girl who's like <laughs> watching the house burn and I'm smiling. Literally. Like, but at the same point in time, it's kind of like, but Mimi did ask him to do that. And it's like, where's Mimi's I love Mimi we all know this but where's her accountability in all yeah. this like she cut like Joey just made himself the villain so it was really easy to be like oh you threw her under the bus but like where's Mimi's accountability and like I'm so sorry you didn't take him to the terrace to have a private conversation when you literally and had crawled. a private conversation everywhere else you crawled up there you guys thought you thought you were gonna get back together you thought you're gonna do a little kissy up there and that's like Yikes. cold hard facts I'm yeah, sorry that's what it's like it's like that's what Joey was implying his his just delivery is so harsh that you can't even get to his message. Exactly. Like he got in his own way with that. So it's like in Joey S. Like, like in his defense, <laughs> like I don't really think it was up to Joey to break that down for Josh and Josh going so hard on Joey and like barely scratching but the surface with Mimi is like, that's who you're exclusive with. Like you can't have this hard conversation with Mimi. But it's but like, you can't. what if, what if it was the roles reverse, right? And, uh, your guy asked me to bring him to mm. the terrace and I was like, the XX had a secret mission. You wouldn't pull me aside and be like, what actually, like, what was she trying to say? Yeah. But it's like. Okay, here's the thing. Are Joey Essex and Josh friends? Right, right, right. I know. That was my other, like, well, are they friends? Are they enough friends? But they're, like, boys. Like, so it's, like. Because if you're friends, like, I think it is up to Joey and Josh. My, my, and my perception is that Joey's closer to Io than Josh. Yeah, I think that's true. So it's kind of, like, I don't know. Talk to Mimi, dude. Like. (laughs) Like a fucking stranger. Just, like, I don't know. Like, talk to her. Right. That's what I would do. Like if I wasn't, if I wasn't friends with the girl, like, so let's say in this situation, I'm Joey Essex and I'm not friends with Josh. I don't know, but girls are different. I don't know. Girls are different. Like I would probably pull. Yeah. We talk. Yeah. And like, usually girls aren't like Mimi was moving mad doing that. Like, we're not, no one has really, like, brought that up. Like, she was, that was savage of her. Like, Jess, I think, should be annoyed with Mimi. That wasn't girl code. Jess, Jess, like, Jessica. Oh. Like, like if I was Jessica, I would be like, uh, that's not cool. Like, you need to, you need to hide, crawl on the terrace. We all know what the terrace means. Watching it, like, was so bad to see. Oh, my God. And Joey being like, he's not coming. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> like when he had to go back and tell her. <laughs> but she, oh my God, I can't. I can't even relive that. It like it sends a shiver down my spine. It is like so, it's, it's so embarrassing. Like that is punishment enough, honestly. Yeah. But I think Mimi sucks so hard to her explanation. And it's like she's repeated it, repeated, repeated and hammered mm-hmm. that point in that it's like maybe they just stopped arguing about it or or trying to even yeah it's like Mimi kind of got away with murder <laughs> literally like she got away scot-free and like yeah the murder weapon was in her hand and her <laughs> hand was covered in blood and everyone's just kind of like mad at Joey about it <laughs> the glove fit like the glove fit <laughs> <laughs> yeah so but I also feel like Josh is kind of like acting like a girl so like that's why he's um asking Joey but also I feel like He's he I feel like there's he yes, he's annoying, but I think there's obviously a sense to him that he's not getting the full story. So it's like, Joey, mm-hmm. can you tell me can you break down what really happened? Like so I, I don't know. Like, yeah. Is it Do you Joey- know what I think it is too? I think it's like Josh is go experiencing this. Like, you know when a guy is not kind of like not that into you and you like can feel it, but instead of like forgetting about 100%. him, it just you double down and like cling tighter. And I think that's what's happening to Josh. One thousand percent. Yeah. He's I think Lenny and the doing. mice. And so he wants the straight up story from Joey because I think 
he knows he pro- I think like, yeah, you're right. He probably knows Mimi isn't being fully honest with him. So he's relying on Josh to break it down for him. Joey, I mean, yeah. Joey. It's a lot of right. Jays. So I guess the argument is, should Joey have said something? I think if you're not going to out, if you're going to out the secret. Mm-hmm. You got to fully do it. Yeah, I, I think so. Fair enough. Because then you're just outing the secret and then you're like making Mimi like what I would I get like it was her problem. I don't know. I would be interested to see the what what side people are on. Oops. I am interested to see that, too. And then like everyone being like, well, you called it a secret mission. Like, it's not a secret mission. I'm like, I don't know. That was like pretty fucking secret mission to me. (laughs) Like she's crawling on the terrace. Yeah, he had to go and find Io. And like we're arguing if this is a secret mission or not. I'm like, we have lost the plot, plot, you guys. Like, yeah, I can't hear about us arguing if it's a secret mission or not. It's because it's Joey and he doesn't know how to. And it's because it's Mimi. Do you know what I mean? Right, it's like, Joey against Mimi, and, like, Joey just looks like a big old bully, like, beast. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Like, if it were against any other... Imagine that was... Imagine that was uh, Harriet. Like, the situation would have been totally different. <gasps> oh, my God, if it was Harriet. <laughs> like, she would have gotten roasted. Right. So true. But it's, like, everyone's close with Mimi. Mimi's a cool girl. Like, no one wants... To, no one wants to be mad at Mimi. Yeah. And I think Jessica almost doesn't have like a leg to stand on because she stole her man's totally right out from under her yeah right so it's like you're gonna be mad that i'm taking my original man i also like think the public hates jess jessica and i don't think it's fair like i i think she's funny i think she has a personality i think she's like different i love i think she's refreshing like i really like her i like feel bad that people don't like her and i oh they're they almost said they love each other, you guys. Like, they're falling in love before our eyes. They're saying they're falling. But how interesting because um, the uh, Io Io's and, brother. Yeah, brother said that. And then the preview for tomorrow is Io talking to Kieran. I'm updating you just because. <laughs> I, I didn't finish You might have part. been busy. <laughs> but Io goes, my brother said something interesting. He thinks I'm more well-suited to Mimi. And I'm like, oh, god are we gonna open this again and then he like tells jessica jessica's crying yeah that would that would really upset me if i was jessica very like that's really hard to hear like that just breeds like awkwardness and mistrust i mean they know his brother best obviously but but like what about it like give me a specific concrete reason I it's like it i need weird. to go back and watch mimi and io because i don't even remember any chem i don't remember chemistry i don't remember i remember saying in the moment like these two are friends you know what i mean a hundred percent like i really don't remember any kind of conversation between the two of them except for like like what are you smiling at what are you looking at why are you looking at me like that like that's all they said like yeah he's he literally like I, guys he no i'm sorry like his brother is wrong his brother's not a good read of character read, <laughs> read of character like i don't we are his brother no yeah like i know what's better for io than your brother <laughs> um yeah so i don't know the way that they have stretched this plot out is crazy. So that's what that's our week what I'm is saying. looking like. That's our forecast like for the week. We talked about the secret mission on the show for like an episode and a half. I feel like we're still not done with it because, oh, well, they and Jesse and Joey didn't really finish because then the Farrens came. Oh, but then it's like now Jesse and Joey are arguing about that. Like, Jesse, you have enough to get mad at Joey Essex for. <laughs> like, let like pick your battles like let so let true. other people yell at him for this like you should yell at him about a lot of other things <laughs> so true joey cracks me up man uh i mean thank god he's on the season <laughs> oh my god can you what imagine? would we be talking about right now oh, i just wish like harry and ronnie were back and some good Dude. old peeps uh, you know who i think he'd actually be friends with outside of the villa is ronnie <laughs> yeah yeah they were really tight yeah, they were like two peas in a pod. Now he's stuck with Sean. So true. Day old candy he's stuck with. Um, yeah, stale ass candy. Yeah, but the parents were cute. But like, still, I, I was like, what? How many couples are there? Like seven, six? I think no. Okay, six, yeah. Probably. Honestly, I'm ready for the final. Cause like, what's tomorrow? Okay, I was like. I, I always liked the baby challenge. I'm not going to lie. 
I, I don't know why it annoys me. I think it's so funny when guys are stuck with babies. I just think it, <laughs> yeah. or sometimes like there was like season, I think like with Chloe and Faye, that season when they were stuck with the babies, it was so oh, yeah. funny because they were such bad moms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So I don't, I don't mind those. So I am assuming that's the next and then Thursday. Oh my God. We have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Sunday, Monday. Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. Do you think it ends on Monday or Sunday? No, Monday. We got to show oh, up to Lord. work on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Remember well, we'll when we did a goes. nice finale outfit? With like balloons. Back dude. in the day. And we were wearing like a dresses, like nice dresses. Oh, to be and now we're audio and only again. in our pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> to be that young and free no really though like i i can't be arsed with with no it's really uh, bad finale outfit it's really bad though watching these episodes dude it's so it's like such a chore it's so painful i was like such a chore two episodes and i had a red eye last night i was like i had to watch two episodes of i don't know how you did it i honestly don't know how you did that dude i'm not and you're jet lagged and you have a child Honestly, I really stuck to the jet lag. Like, I went to sleep at six over there every night. I oh, was like, yeah, you're like, I'm not even going to change my time. No. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like, I'm not doing this with a baby. Are you kidding me? No. No, no. So, 6 no. p.m., <laughs> the <laughs> fucking doors were shut. Mike's like, dude, what the fuck? I'm like, peace <laughs> out. I'm out of here. Dude. Oh my God. So funny. And like, insane with these flights. Like, insane. Oh my god, no! It was like, and I got traveling? to the airport like two hours early because my flight was at seven p.m. for uh, Pacific time, which is ten p.m. I didn't take into account for that, so I was ten right. p.m. baby with all the lights and shit. I was like, all right, let's get to the airport early. We'll go to the Sky Lounge. No Sky Lounge in this airport. <gasps> I didn't get to go to the Sky Lounge once, dude. What? Yeah, and then it was delayed like an hour. Oh, my God, dude. Yeah, flying right now, it's the wild, wild west. There's no rules. It's total anarchy. It's like, crazy. Your, your trip is not guaranteed. You buy a ticket, and that does not mean you're getting on that plane. I'm not I'm not leaving. And I wouldn't be bothered with what's happening in the world if I didn't take one trip a year. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Never again. No, no. It's uh, not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> She's in bed at 6 p.m. every night. She's like, Literally. why am I doing this? Literally ate dinner at like three, dude. Like, oh my god. And then I was like, I remember like I was like, okay, I need to put her down by six. That's six, seven, eight, not like that's nine your time. So then yeah. do the podcast. Fuck that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> like, yeah. No. I mean, there was not much. Like th- we've been talking about the same things for a week. No. I'm really we're really scraping the bottom of the barrel. And U.S. already ended. Like, why? I think their finale is tonight. Dude, did you start it? No, I'm like, I'm in my book era right now. Yeah, like, yeah. after this, I'm going to need a, like a little bit of a reprieve, a break. And then when I finish Akatar, I'm going to go back and watch Love Island U.S. I don't know if I'll ever do that. You'll never watch it? No, I can't. Okay. Well, I'll watch it, and if I'm like Demi, it's a okay, must yeah. I'll let you know. But like, you know, I'll be straight up with you if it's not. Yeah, because everyone's freaking out, and I'm just like, do I really care about these people? I don't think I do. That's what I'm saying. I like, fear like my cup has runneth over. Dude. You know, and I I've seen these girls on Instagram. Like I've seen what I needed to see <laughs> <laughs> immediately. No, like no. There's like one hot guy, Rob. I think like that is like this. Yeah, took the gut, took everybody by a. Uh, Storm. Yeah, yeah, he is hot, but like the rest of them, I'm like, I think I could do without. Yeah, like I'm sorry, but I'll do the homework for us. Yeah, we got one more big old bookie. Yeah, and then we have Crescent City, so I don't know. Maybe I'll jump jump right into that then, universe. Then, oh my god, and then dude. she's releasing a new book. Yeah, so dude, I I put if you guys could stop listening now we're not gonna talk yeah about we're just anymore. we're just like talking amongst ourselves <laughs> it's just us here anyway <laughs> um i clicked one fucking you know how i went on that um spiral of those like av- avatar memes 
Real? Yes, and now my first, Holy now shit. mine is all of it, Demi. I can't, like, I'll look at my, like, whatever it is. What is it fucking called? Popular page or whatever it's. Yeah. And I, I will, like, I'll, like, look at it, just, I won't click, but I'll just you crack can't. up. It's all Akatar shit, <laughs> dude. It's all Cassian memes, Rysan memes. Like, I'm like, oh my God. Um, But anyway, on that note, I someone was like, if you, like, throne of glass and like hunger games here's the perfect like book like so i'm like i'm getting all these like next realms to get into Uh uh-huh but Mm -hmm. i'm scared to like leave hers i know because i just think she does it so good yeah and i don't know i don't know like i doubted it so hard though so like i can be easily swayed because i was like i'm never gonna get into those books and look at me now like i'm obsessed i made you yeah, you you like force me into it and I love it and I'm so yeah. happy for it. But at the same time, I'm like, I don't know, do do I get into a whole nother world? Because it could get cringe, you know? Dude, Akatar's cringe. Like, it's cringe dude, yeah. to me. I, I don't care about the he ran his figure down my fucking wing. Like, I can't. Wing. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. Like, I want fucking to like stab a bitch. Like, I need like throne of glass shit. More yes yeah i need war i was everybody in the comments is like i can't even get past assassin's blade like i can't get past and i'm like <gasps> um everyone's like you have to do throw it's like i think the fact that you we read throne of glass first is what the yeah. key was because everyone's so slow they're like first four books it's like i didn't even think the first four books were slow me neither but compared like, to this shit all. i guess but then it's like this yeah. is so fast it's like what the fuck happened but that's what I mean. Like, is it fast or it's just like there's no details? Like, exactly. I feel like, oh, like all of a sudden, Elaine just like stabbed a fucking stabs. Wait, like spoiler for alert. Such, <laughs> yes, spoiler alert. Like, hopefully, hopefully, no one no else one's is reading. No one's listening. Yeah. But like, if you are, like, just stop listening to us now. If you're like in the midst of this series, like, stop. But yeah, Elaine just all of a sudden, who's never known how to use a knife, like. We don't even know how tall she is. She's stabbing someone in the back of the head. Like, and the most powerful person that for centuries, like, they've been trying to kill these, these fae who have all these powers. And, like, here comes little malnourished Elaine. <laughs> it's so fucking so dumb. It's so fucking dumb. But it's, like, she gets like that to the, to like, to this point in her books where it's, like, she literally lost her mojo. And yeah. she's, like, fuck it. Elaine's stabbing him in the head. <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> like she's like you know what fuck it i don't feel like dealing with this the lock is just gonna oh, kill I'm selena still, for nothing when i tell you that i still think about this shit on a daily basis how the lock is so useless like we're reading about the lock for thousands of pages and for what it it literally was quite literally a lock but like the, there was no but like it, what i like, don't get is that like um what's her face What's Kale's wife's name? Yesme? Mysterian? Oh, yeah. Esme? Is, is, is that her name? Yurene. I don't know. Yeah, Esme. <laughs> Yurene. <laughs> it was like this whole thing that they could save with the healers. And right. it's like, we didn't even get how they, like, you brought a lot of healers just to what, like, heal the wounded. Like, you know what I'm saying? How did right. you get like, rid of the I- Valg? But it's like, but only Rain got rid of the Valg main guy. Who's Rain? Irene or whatever. Irene? Oh, Irene. Yeah. Like exactly. She like, are you kidding was me? was the one healer that could do it. But all the other, like, the old ass <laughs> healer that we brought, like, she did nothing. She just healed, like, normal. Like, I thought you guys were going to, like, all get in a circle and just, like, blast the Valg with light. Like, Honestly, like she she sets up these like intricate things, yeah. And then like when the punchline comes, she's like, "Fuck it, <laughs> like <laughs> fuck it." Elaine stabs him in the neck. <laughs> <laughs> like a million other things could have happened, and it's like, oh, Elaine was hiding in the ten. All of a sudden, she stabs a man in the middle like, of Elaine, the war ground. Elaine, the gardener, and you're telling me she stabbed <laughs> Highburn? Uh, please, come on. Um, and then it's like Tamlin was like kind of an asshole and then she's like dude. like pick a lane he's either an asshole or he's not like but even you're reading know. like the novella like and they're like did you ever did you get to the part where he like goes to him 
yet? No, it, like they're about to do the solstice and like um Favor's just like fucking whining. <laughs> Like, she's like, our room is cramped. I'm like, I'm, I'm reading about how their room's fucking cramped and there's papers everywhere. <laughs> like, what is these details? She gives us and she like. Yeah, we, yeah, we can't even like, tell you what she fucking looks like. And then like, oh, I read for like three pages about her period that she gets twice a year. <laughs> that talk about cringe. That was so cringe. I don't want to hear about their cycles and their soiled undergarments. So Sorry. I didn't come here for that. <laughs> but I'm here to talk about it. <laughs> yeah yeah no um i just like blanked out so you know i'm you know i'm done here <laughs> yeah it's your bedtime <laughs> i need to go to sleep <laughs> um okay guys thanks for staying with her <laughs> <laughs> oh this is just what would happen the combo that would happen once we stopped recording exactly so you got a little treat hang up <laughs> yeah. can we just do agadar recap for the rest of the week yeah let's just transition and then we'll like come back for the finale <laughs> um okay guys thank you all for listening to fire pit chat your daily dose of all things love island i'm your host demi and this is jasmine we appreciate you listening if you're watching on youtube feel free to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up we're also available as a podcast wherever you get your podcast be sure to leave us a five-star review and share with your fellow island lover and we'll see you tomorrow see ya